If you take a Pringle and make a slit as wide as the chip, it is possible to fit it through without breaking. Why? Well, this shape is called a hyperbolic paraboloid because it is composed of parabolas and has hyperbolas in its cross section. Hyperbolic paraboloid is a ruled surface, meaning that for any point on it, there is a straight line lying entirely within the surface. So when you fit it through a slit, you simply find a new straight line with each move. Ruled surfaces found an interesting application in architecture. These towers look curved, but in reality they only have straight rods in the structure. Hyperbola is one of four possible conic sections. When you cut a cone parallel to its base, you get a circle. Tilt it a bit, you get an ellipse. Likewise, you get a hyperbola and a parabola. And each of these shapes found countless applications in engineering. An ellipse has a remarkable property. If you emanate a ray from one of its foci, it will always hit the other foci after reflecting from the boundary. If we now rotate one half of the ellipse around the axis of symmetry, we get a semi-elliptical cup. This device is used in medicine to destroy kidney stones, generate shock waves at the focus, and they all combine outside the cup. Parabolas also have an interesting property. Any vertically incident rays will go through the same point after reflection. Let's also call it a focus. Look at these massive constructions. They are essentially three-dimensional parabolas. England used them in the 30s as part of air defense. A sound from a plane flying really far away from the coast would reflect off the parabolic mirror and amplify at the focus, where a microphone was placed. This gave a critical 10 to 15 minute reaction advantage. The same principle lies behind satellite dishes and antennas studying the space. Please support this video if you want to see another episode on conic sections.